Happy Monday. How you doing? Hey, we're talking about prayer. I want to talk to you today about the power of prayer. But you also know what today is? Today, is, there's somebody at the door. What's going on? Uh oh, here comes Mary. What you got? Harvey dropped this off. Oh, Harvey dropped something off? Yeah. Did you see Harvey? Well, no. No, I didn't. What? What is this? He dropped it. He left it on the thing. He said, apparently you won. Apparent? What is Oh, it's the ultimate pastor. Election results. Oh, my goodness. I won. <laughs> Can you believe that? I won. That looks like the same sir certificate we had last year. I think it is. It changed. <laughs> he just changed the oh. dates on it. <laughs> Harvey is very frugal. <laughs> very, very frugal. Was he out there when you went out there? No. No, I didn't see him. Nobody has seen Harvey for years. But he counted the votes. He's a very private And person. apparently I won. So that means, according to this date, which is today, 7-22-2024, 2024, that I am America's ultimate pastor. Now that's about as official as it gets. Yay! <laughs> I want to thank everybody who voted. And there literally was thousands and thousands of votes that came in. And was, that was amazing. Some of them from the same person. Well, Mary, <laughs> I, that wasn't necessary. Oh, sorry. Mary said some of the votes was from the same people. That wasn't necessary. Of course, a lot of people use the uh, Chicago rules, vote early and vote often. And so some people did that. Mm -hmm. They took that to heart. But anyway, I am officially, once again, for another period of two years, America's ultimate pastor with the certificate to prove it. And I will do everything in my power to make you proud of me, to make our country proud of us, proud of me and proud of us. America's ultimate pastor. That means the number one pastor in all of America. Hmm? It doesn't mean we have the biggest church. It doesn't mean we reach the most people. But it does mean that we get the, probably the most results. And the big thing is I'm available. People can actually call me. You wouldn't believe, Mary, how many people call and say, I'm just so glad you're there. Yes, I do. I'm so glad you're there. Mary Mary knows it because she listens to the phone calls. Uh, most of our phone calls are monitored. And that's for security reasons. And so, uh, usually there's people that hear you call, so be careful. Sometimes there's people who hear you call. And we do that because we want to share the mostly... The big reason is we want to share the praise reports, don't we? Yes. And and sometimes uh, when I'm praying for somebody, there's other people in the background that you don't even know who are here, and they're praying for you too. Isn't that right? Right. And so you wouldn't believe what goes on when somebody calls. I mean, just this whole this whole operation stops, and our focus is on the person who called. Not just me, I'm the one doing the talking and I'm the one doing the speaking, usually, although sometimes other people get involved. But other people in the background, depending on who all is here, will be praying for you at the same time. So believe me, when somebody calls, you're the most important person in our life. And this whole operation, no matter what's going on, comes to a standstill when that phone rings. And believe me, the phone rings a lot. We, I praise God for all of our partners and for the people in our church. We have a wonderful, wonderful church. Our church is getting ready. Uh, and I can tell you this now because uh, 
the people in our church know about this already. Uh, we're getting ready to make, to possibly, we're in negotiations to make some changes in our church. And uh, which means we're going to expand. We're going to do more services and offer more for the people. Now, our Sunday morning service is going to stay the same. And our Wednesday evening right now is going to stay the same. But we're going to expand into some other areas and other locations. So around Melbourne. So we're, uh, plus we may come out, we've got some invitations now to come out and minister in some other churches. So we may do some of that too. So praise God, we have people who can step in and help us here when, when we do that, because other people need to hear this too. So we praise God for that. So a lot of things are happening on this end. Plus, I answer the phone. When I'm flying in the airplane, I can't hear the phone, of course. But when I land, I will call you back. When I'm, if I'm on the phone with somebody, when you call, I will call you back. When that phone rings, the person on the other end is the most important person in our life. And we want to get your needs met. And I praise God that you have made me the all America's ultimate pastor. And I want to put this where everybody can see it. Believe me, I'll show it to everybody because that's just how I am. And it won't, aren't I, Mary? Yeah. I will show it to everybody because I want everybody to know that there is, Billy Graham used to be what they call, he, they called him America's pastor. And you can't dispute that because he ministered to the whole country, but he did not take phone calls. And as far as I know, he didn't get a lot of results. But I'll tell you what does get results, and that is prayer. Prayer gets results. We're talking about prayer this week. Say this with me. The rest of my life, the is, the, of my life is the best of my life. The of my life. And the best, of my life the best of my life is the rest of my life. Of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. Everything I, touch turns I am a wonderful person. I'm a wonderful pastor person. Jim is a wonderful pastor. pastor Wonderful Everything always works out for me. Everything always works out for us. We say that, I say that confession every day for two reasons. Number one, I need it. And number two, you need it. Because you can only hear something a certain number of times until you believe it. And if you say that confession every day, if you watch these videos every day, and you speak that confession along with us, it comes out of your mouth, it goes into your ear. Your ear is four inches from your mouth. You will eventually start to believe it. And when you do, it's going to change your life. I want to talk to you today. Make sure you call me today. If you did your offerings and donations and your tithe over the weekend, a lot of people, we have hundreds and hundreds of people watch our Sunday service online. We have a huge online ministry. And uh, Wednesday evening, hundreds and hundreds of people watch that service. I have no idea because those those videos get picked up and sent all over the world. And so I have no idea about how many people are watching. But I, I can see some of the analytics. So I know that there's hundreds and hundreds of people watching. So we praise God for that. And if you're watching... Do, you can go to our website, increasenow.com, to do your tithe and your offerings and your donations. But make sure you call me to speak the blessing over you when you do. We don't bless the offerings. We bless you. That's how Abraham did it with Melchizedek, the priest. He tithed and the priest spoke the blessing over him, not his offering. So we want you to be blessed. Your offering is between you and God. You can't buy answers to prayer. You can't buy healing. You can't buy the blessing. You can't buy deliverance. You can't buy anything. If somebody's charging you for deliverance, believe me, they're in the wrong business. They're charlatans. Amen? So you can't buy anything from God. But we appreciate your offerings and donations and your tithe because it takes money to make to process these and to produce these and to send these around the world and to run this organization. So I praise God for you.
I want to talk to you. We got a few minutes left for today. And we'll pick this up uh, probably um, on Wednesday. But I want to talk to you about the power of prayer. James chapter 4 verse 2 says, You have not because you ask not. You have not because you ask not. You know, I wrote the book on prayer. I also wrote the book on healing. This is the book that we're trying to get into the hands of every sick person. I just uh, heard that one of the, a very distinguished congresswoman from Texas uh, died of cancer. That should not have happened. Somebody, somebody should have got this book to her. There is no sickness, no disease, no problem that the power in the name of Jesus cannot handle. No sickness, no disease, no poverty, no lack, no problem can stand up to that name when I use that name. That's why I'm America's ultimate pastor. Because of the incredible power. I show people the power of God. I got a call from somebody uh, just a few days ago. Her father had had a massive heart attack. Was in a coma. Not looking good. Bad prognosis. I said, he will live and not die. I asked her, I said, what do you want? She said, I want him to live. I said, he will live and not die. In the name of Jesus, I speak to him that he will recover and he woke up. And at the last report, he's improving. Now that's the power in the name of Jesus. He's healing. He's going to be fine. He is going to resume his life because somebody called me. Somebody knew that I was here, but everybody doesn't know that. Everybody, that, that congresswoman who, who died of can cancer, she didn't know I was here, and neither did anybody in her family. But somebody should have sent her that book. She's had that disease. It's been several months. Nobody, it just should not have happened. Nobody should die of sickness and disease. I'm telling you, there's power. There's power in the prayer. James 4, 2 says, you have not because you ask not. And in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, it says, let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help. Grace is God's unearned power at works in your life. It's the power to save. It's the power to heal. It's the power to bless and the power to prosper. That's grace. It's the power for protection. That's God's grace. God told Paul when he was having trouble with somebody, he said, my grace is sufficient for you. My power. My power. You can get God's grace simply by asking for it. Faith is what brings God's grace. Prayer, the power of prayer. Glory to God. We have seen some incredible miracles. And it's all, prayer is a, any form of communication with God is prayer. Whether you're talking to God, whether you're asking God for something, whether you're praising God, Whatever you're doing, anytime you are communicating with God, it's a form of prayer. Please share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know who America's ultimate pastor is and that they can call me. People call me. Somebody called me the other day and they said, oh my goodness, you're, it's really you. I said, yes. You call. It's really me. And I will answer the phone. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to meet your needs.